I think for, for you and our viewers, we have to see this summit on Friday as a crucial warm-up to the planned summit between President Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Officials here have been planning logistics for weeks now for this DMZ meeting between Kim and the South Korean President Moon Jae-in. I've been told by his office that these talks will go well into the night, Friday night, Korea time. It's the first time that these two leaders have met face to face in years of the two different countries. First time the North Korean leader has set soil on the South since the Korean War. A South Korean official today saying that getting Kim to commit to some form of denuclearization in this talk would be crucial. Also beginning talks about coming up with some kind of a peace treaty to end the Korean War, which is, believe it or not, still been going on for 68 years. That's another goal. But again, just starting towards those points, nothing final from this summit, we believe, Bill. Very interesting. How would they characterize the role President Trump has played in getting talks along this far, Greg? We've been speaking to a lot of people here, Bill, and uh, that's, that role is significant. You've got to look at what uh, South Korean President Moon has been doing. He's been talking about talks from the very beginning. Also, after firing off all those missiles and setting off all those nukes, uh, North Korean uh, leader Kim uh, speaking dovish a bit as well. But listen to what long, what long-time observer Mike Breen says about Donald Trump's importance. Take a listen. No previous American president has issued a credible military threat to North Korea. And he did. He did. Uh, secondly, he's the first American president willing to sit down and talk with the North Korean leadership. And one more element that Breen notes, Bill, also the maximum pressure, the sanctions, that's hurting the North as well. One last proviso, though, Bill, on the campaign trail. Remember, President Trump said, yeah, I'll sit down with, uh, with Kim and we can talk. Hey, the odds of a successful talk might only be 10 percent or 20 percent. I got to tell you, at least some experts I talked to here say those odds might be right. Very mm. tricky stuff. Back to you, Bill. Indeed it is. Thank you, Greg. Good reporting. Seoul, South Korea, Greg Talcott.